happy saturday thank you for tuning in i'm actually sitting outside because have you ever noticed how incredibly noisy and loud hotels are they are loud but i'm sure it's loud out here too but i'm going to try to my best to speak loud and make this short so i thank you for tuning in again my name is Boalia Desmond. I'm a wife of one, a mom of two boys, and I'm on a mission to help families create and increase generational wealth because of what Debt Freedom has done for our family. So I titled my message today, Be a Decision Maker. Today I want to talk about procrastination, right? Because here we are, we're in the second half of the year of 2021. Second half. And if you're still thinking that you've got plenty of time, friends, I want to tell you, you do not. Okay, we are already July 16th, I believe is the date today. I'm losing track of days, but we are in the middle of July, heading towards the end of 2021. Become a decision maker and do not allow procrastination to be the thing that holds you back. Because guess what? The more you procrastinate, the success that you would have had in 2021 is now going to not show up until 2022. So every single day that you procrastinate it means that you're, you're putting your success further and further away from it coming to you. And you know what else procrastination even does? It just causes stress, right? It causes anxiety because the thing that you're procrastinating about doesn't go away. Chances are the thing that you're procrastinating is the thing that you need to take or do in order to move forward. In order to, for you to see the success that you need, the thing that you're procrastinating on is really the, the activity that needs to be done. It's the activity that needs to be done. So save yourself from the anxiety because worry, you're going to be worrying about how you haven't done that thing and just do it. And make the decision that, you know what, you're going to do the, that thing first and then reward yourself with the opportunity to be able to do other things. So make that the first activity that you that that you do. So in our industry, um, following up, prospecting, um, those are like critical activities that we need to do. And they're easy not to do. They're very easy not to do because everything else seems like it's it's easier to do than that. And so if we can do that first and then move on to um, the other activities as a reward, then it becomes easier, right? It becomes easier. And, and allowing yourself to enjoy the process, allowing yourself and celebrating yourself in who you're becoming, celebrating yourself in playing big, celebrating yourself and saying, hey, you know what, good job, I'm proud of you. Telling yourself that you're proud and saying, hey, you know what, you're playing big, right? So just telling yourself that, you know what, good job. Thank you for doing that. Even thanking yourself, because it means that you're not, be, you're not um, staying the same, right? Because it takes, it takes growth. It takes growth. All of this takes growth and you, it, it's, it's hard to not procrastinate, especially when you make a decision to do something big. Everything starts to happen. You get busy all of a sudden, you have things that are happening that are throwing you off and it's so easy to, to say, well, maybe I'm gonna start tomorrow, then I'm gonna start tomorrow. And then pretty soon you're just procrastinating and you continue to procrastinate, right? Also being a perfectionist can be one of the things that, that makes you procrastinate. Something has to be perfect. If you're gonna do a video, you don't wanna do one unless, unless the circumstances are exactly 100% correct. Well, that just slows you down or you don't end up doing the activity at all. Or being a control freak. Like, let things roll. Just allow yourself the grace. Allow yourself to say, hey, you know what? I, this is what I need to do, but enjoying it. Instead of looking at it as a chore, looking at it as a, as a job, looking at it as something negative. Allow yourself to say, hey, you know what, I made a decision, hold yourself accountable, or if you can't hold yourself accountable, give yourself, give somebody else the job to hold you accountable. So they're checking in with you, they're, they're, they're asking how you're doing, they're just, they're holding you to the fire, right? So that you can win this year. Make 2020, make the decision that 2021, you're gonna win. You're gonna finish the year strong because you're going to do the activities, you're going to do the things that are gonna set you up. Don't allow 2021 to go where you're now waiting for 2022 to begin again. So I thank you for tuning in. I hope you could hear me and I will see you tomorrow.